Good morning students. Today I am going to demonstrate the experiment number 7. The object of this is to find the value of V for different values of U in case of a concave mirror and hence to find the focal length of the concave mirror by plotting the graph between U and V. The apparatus which you are going to use for this experiment is the optical bands, two needles, three uprights, one clamp, knitting needle and a concave mirror. And the formula which you are going to use for this experiment is 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon u plus 1 upon v. f is the focal length of the concave mirror which you are going to use. And u is the distance of the object from the pole of the mirror and v is the distance of the image from the pole of the mirror. Now this is the how you can calculate from the graph then I will tell you later on. Now the how you have to measure this. The first of all you have to start from the index correction. So for finding out the index correction of this experiment, so you just clamp this mirror at the zero position and then you just measure this knitting needle from the okay from this optical band. It is the 32 centimeter. Okay, and then you just adjust this for the object pint in between the mirror and the object pint. So put it this in between this and uh, then you just rip from here this is 32.2 centimeter and this one is the object pint and another one is the image pint. Adjust this image pint in between this and again you just tag it over here and take the reading of this exactly this is again 32.2 centimeter so now you just find out the first of all the approximate focal length of this okay the measurement of index correction and so and so forth is the written over here then how you have to find out this index correction is shown over here okay now you have to take the approximate focal length of, the, of this then you adjust this in the for with the help of the one pin only and if you are removing the parallax of this one pin the self pin that is nothing but the 2f position of this okay so now I am just removing this parallax and this position this is the exactly the one parallax is removing no parallax condition is here for the one pin okay this is what we call the 2f position so from here then you are able to observe the uh, focal length that is the this is 36 centimeter this will 18 approximately 18 centimeter now you have to find out the reading to how you have to take the observations of this first of all let us try to have in between the f and 2f you just put the object needles so you just try to adjust this object needle in the 26 let us say and then you try to adjust the image of this with the help of this how can you remove this this is you have to see it now here you have to take the, a lot of precautions for the mirror experiment because it vibrate a lot. So now here in the uh, position of the this image position is okay. Now I'm just adjusting this. This position is the no parallax condition for the first observation when the object is in between the f and u. Here you, you can see the two images. One is object is object image is falling on the image position and another is object image is falling in the this object position. You have to decide in which one you are going to observe because you are supposed to measure the image of this object pin. So this one is the object pin. First one you are observing the object pin is falling on the 
you may have been this one is you are going to observe it that's why i'm just putting the one flag on the object this is the real position of the no parallel condition of the first observation now this first observation is the one is the 26.0 and another one is the image is the 58.2 now let us as this by in the 26 means at the 3 so at the 29 okay at the 29 centimeter object pin is there so object pin is coming away from the pole so image pin will be entering towards this direction this will be this will be uh, adjusting like this so again then we have you have got the another position this position is the at the position of 50.2 you have got the 50.2 so image position is 50.2 object position is 29 so you do calculate for this by taking the index direction then will be getting the maybe almost 80 uh, centimeter focal length and one important point you are going to do here is then when it is coming like this by taking the observation this one is entering the image neither is entering towards this direction at one particular position the both will be striking each other coinciding each other so in order to take the the position object position away from the 2f you have to shift the image needle inside this and then adjust the object position away from the 2f position so the first outside position is i'm just adjusting at the 42 centimeter and obviously the inside this then we have to adjust here it will be the uh, okay this is another one that is when the object position is outside the 2f and image is inside the 2f here it is the 31.5 centimeter here is again the correct uh, parallax no parallax condition is observed so you have got the three different observations with the help of the experiment just like this you have to take at least three observations inside the f and 2f position and the three observations outside the f and 2f position okay then after calculation of this then you will get it the different values like this so here is again the first one is 17.19, 18.3 and 17.9. So obviously the Q and V are the negative because of the sign dimensions and obviously the F is also negative. So you can take in the other observations like this and by taking down those observations you just plot the graph this in the your graph by taking the equal separation then by putting the different position then you can have like this here is you can see in the graph graph is drawn in the third quadrant because u and f v are the negative so that's why after that just draw the 45 angle degree and then mark this point and calculate the v uh, f position from it and then after that you just try to write the reserve and some precautions also you can note down whatever we have discussed in the precautions so while performing the experiment that should be written down and some are noting over here so i think you can understand thank you very much this is all